A video posted on YouTube is stirring anger and debate in Silicon Valley. Sue Kwan shows us how it tells high-tech companies they can avoid hiring American workers. Sue. Well, Juliet, it is a how-to video on how to comply with federal laws and still hire cheaper foreign labor. Well, that's what critics are saying. Two Sunday advertisements in a newspaper of general circulation. Post job listings to show you tried to fill openings with Americans. That's what attorneys with Cohen and Grigsby told their corporate clients who came to a seminar to learn federal rules around hiring foreign workers and how to get around them. Our goal is clearly not to find a qualified and interested U.S. worker. And, you know, that, in a sense, that sounds funny, but it's what we're trying to do here. It's no secret foreign workers come highly skilled and sometimes with lower salaries. Many attended this programmer's conference in Santa Clara where this man identified only as Dave defended outsourcing in the technology industry. Uh, it's hard to find uh, good people. I mean, hard to find enough people, uh, uh, E even junior people, not, not just uh, senior people. The Programmers Guild, an anti-outsourcing group, says nonsense. It edited and reposted these clips on YouTube after the law firm pulled them down. It is calling on the Labor Secretary to investigate unfair practices where companies call for applications with no intent to hire close to home. And if necessary, schedule an interview, go through the whole process to find a, a legal basis to disqualify them for this particular position. In most cases, that doesn't seem to be a problem. Cohen and Grigsby would not allow CBS 5 to view the session in its entirety and issued this statement. We regret the choice of words that was used during a small segment of the seminar. It is unfortunate that these statements have been commandeered and misused, which runs contrary to our intent. Dave can see both sides of the debate, but says in an industry where global competition is fierce, what counts is a performance, not place of origin. I have no worries at all that if, if, uh, if my current job were to go away or, or I just got pissed off at him one day, I couldn't go and, uh, and find something else pretty quickly. The Programmers Guild estimates that hiring practices like those outlined in the video cost American workers tens of thousands of jobs a year. The videotape seminar focused on getting green cards for workers. Juliet, the H-1B temporary visa program has even fewer hiring rules, and that is also a topic of debate in all of this. All right, Sue Kwan, thank you, Sue.